Hi listeners, welcome back to the CalSoft exclusive podcast. I am Aditi, your host. In today's episode, we will explore the role of QA testers in ServiceNow applications. We will majorly cover common challenges, testing best practices and the future of QA in ServiceNow. Our special guest today is Kunal. He has been associated with CalSoft since 2019, playing a key role in building ServiceNow competencies. With over 12 years of QA experience, Kunal's expertise spans diverse project and environments, including hyper-converged infrastructure and ServiceNow platforms. They have skilled in domains like storage, cloud, virtualization, and networking. And for the past five years, Kunal has led, managed, and mentored testing teams globally, showcasing the skills in establishing and maintaining complex test environments. So uh, welcome, Kunal. Thanks, Aditi. Glad to be here. Oh uh, well, this is a continuation of our previous podcast, which is integration techniques supported by ServiceNow. So, if you haven't listened to that podcast, we strongly recommend listening to the earlier podcast. Uh, we have given the link in the description. So, Kunal, uh, let's start by understanding what exactly the role of QA in ServiceNow application. So, uh, QA professionals in ServiceNow applications, uh, it, it plays a crucial role to ensuring the quality of the application. And absolutely, QA is like the backbone of a ServiceNow application, like any other domain applications. They not only create retail, it's, it's not only about the creating uh, test plans and documenting the test cases, but also okay. collaborate with the developers to resolve the day-to-day issues as well. Okay, uh, so uh, what does the testing process involve from the ServiceNow standpoint? Well, uh, testing in the ServiceNow covers a lot of grounds. It's not just about the checking UI. It extends to ensuring the integrity of the database, validating workflow logic, and okay. uh, testing integration points. And let's not forget about the performance testing and security checks as well. It's mm-hmm. a comprehensive uh, process where we assess the everything from UI functionality to the overall user experience, uh, make to making sure all aspects meet, meet the highest standards. Okay. Uh, so, any documentation tasks are undertaken by QA in service now? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So, the QA professionals uh, in service now take on several documentation tasks. Okay. Uh, they create uh, detailed test plans and test cases, outlining the testing strategies and various scenarios. Additionally, they document the outcome of their testing efforts. It does not stop there only. So QA also play a role in reporting and collaborating with developers mm-hmm. to resolve any issues that come up during the testing. And another part is like whenever we submit app or service now application for the certification, it has another requirement of test plan. So QA in the service now has to contribute additionally for that as well. Okay. So my next question is, are the workflows also tested by QA or it is just like uh, about testing the applications in UI, DB or the rest levels? Yes. So workflows are definitely part of the QA testing process. So it might not be as extensive as uh, developers in the service now generally do into their day-to-day activities. Yes, but uh, definitely the workflow are the part of a QA testing processes. And the QA professionals in the service now evaluate even the entire application, which covers the workflows, UI elements, database operations, and the REST interfaces as well. So it's about ensuring a comprehensive testing approach of high quality implementation. Okay, so in all of this process, uh, there must be some challenges, right? Yes. So uh, can you uh, just elaborate what are common challenges that QA face in ServiceNow application? Yeah, so uh, challenges as a QA stands same. Uh, It's not only specific about the ServiceNow, but it stands overall same like other domains as well. So let's uh, talk specific about the ServiceNow. Like common challenges for QAs or testers are like include complex workflows, diverse integrations, and ensuring data accuracy in the database, handling frequent updates, maintaining security standards, 
limited access to the production instance and uh, testing to be followed on the dev instance. So everyone must be aware that dev instance and production instance are different. And uh, in uh, day to day testing cycles, mm -hmm. we don't uh, include the production instances okay. because it, it, it requires some other. Uh, so commercials comes in a picture. So that's the main challenging point there. And another big challenge is like regression, one of the mandatory testing phase, similarly mm -hmm. applicable in the service now. So okay. uh, with the frequent updates and changes in the service now, the regression testing become a little crucial to ensure that new updates or modification uh, do not adversely impact uh, existing functionality. So performing comprehensive regression testing can be time consuming and mm -hmm. resource intensive. So especially in the large and complex service now in environments and here the automation basically comes in the picture. Okay, thank you so much for detailed answer. Uh, so what are some uh, best practices for testing service now application? Okay, so uh, when it comes to the testing service now application, it's all about the best practices like uh, it starts by creating some uh, tests plans that covers everything from the UI to workflow, basically database, which uh, which has the term tables in the service now and mm -hmm. the integrations. So automation comes into play where it makes sense ensuring efficiency. Mm -hmm. Testing in different environment is crucial and uh, we always prioritize the security testing okay. and uh, basically the documentation is the key keeping clear record of a test cases and results for a smooth testing process. Okay. So these are these these all are best practices we, we generally supposed mm -hmm. to follow uh, as a QA or testers. Okay, so, uh, you know, I would like to ask your view on the third party integration testing in ServiceNow platform. Okay, third party integration testing in service. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely critical. It's all about ensuring smooth communication and data exchange uh, between your source and destination for which the integration plugin is being developed. And uh, we need to validate the integrations, not only functions correctly, mm -hmm. uh, but also handles various scenarios seamlessly. Okay. Uh, so so, so this, this is very uh, high level uh, answer uh, you can consider. And of course, uh, there is a strong focus on security standards Robust testing in this area ensures a reliable and efficient flow of information between ServiceNow and the external system. So okay. contributing to well-integrated and high-performance uh, ecosystem. Okay. Uh, so what is the scope of automation testing in ServiceNow? Okay. So uh, the scope of automation testing in ServiceNow uh, is, is quite extensive, uh, like we already uh, had a few uh, discussion about uh, regression. So basically, we cover everything from UI testing to workflow automation, integration testing, and the regression testing. So automation really shines in uh, ensuring the efficiency and accuracy of repetitive tasks. Right. It generally comes in a picture um, with respect to the regression testing and speeding up the testing cycles and ultimately enhancing the overall software quality. So it's a particularly beneficial for ServiceNow application dealing with uh, frequent updates, complex workflows, and the need of mm -hmm. rapid and reliable testing processes. So basically, uh, ServiceNow itself provides uh, uh, ATF, so automation okay. testing framework. So to some extent, it's uh, beneficial for the QA, but it's mm -hmm. uh, primarily introduced for the unit testing. And uh, there are multiple players in the market which uh, who provides the service now compatible uh, testing frameworks. Few of them are open source and uh, many of them are uh, paid as well. Okay, Kunal. Uh, so Kunal, you have been working in this industry for a very long time, right? Yeah. So now I would like to ask you, how do you look at the future of QA in service now? Uh, yeah. That's an insightful question, Aditi. So the future of QA in the service now uh, absolutely looks promising. We are anticipating advancement in automation, 
again the artificial intelligence and uh, continuous testing mm -hmm. so qa professionals will be instrumental in ensuring the reliability security and optimal performance of the service now applications as the platform continues to evolve so the key lies in collaborative efforts between qa and development team along with the adoption of innovative uh, testing methodologies so it's an exciting journey to navigate the ever evolving landscape of the service now okay that's amazing so uh, that's a wrap up for today's episode of calsoft podcast and we hope you have gained the valuable insight into the world of service now and qa so i would like to thank kunal uh, so stay tuned for the more episodes where we will explore the latest trends challenges and the best practices in the ever evolving landscape of technology and quality assurance so until next time i am aditi signing off thank you